I just don't think you're ever going to find anything that's going to recreate the highs of like when you knocked out Jermaine Taylor. Mm. How the fuck could you recreate that high? You can't. You can't. That combination when you pinned him in the corner and put him away, and then you walk away and you realize that you won. Yeah. Holy shit. And that don't even kick in. That's all going 100 miles an hour. You're up on that. I see the pictures all put the time. That, pull that up. They, pull they that have up. me with the, the hands in the air, and yeah. I see all the people, and... You know, that, that's just, it was so fast. It, you know, it took me a while before I could, I, even though I walked out of my house and I had them up, you know, on the side, this was before I moved. I still lived with my parents at the time. And I, <laughs> I did too. I, I had them up at, at the house and I'd be leaving to go to the gym or something. And I look over at the belts and I'm I, I keep going, wow, you know what? Those are mine. But it never really kicked in until like a little while later, like, you yeah, know, that, like, like that, that, that I did that. That I'm I'm the world champion. Not only I got one, but I got three of them. When you, you know? were lying in bed that night, you probably had to be going, oh, "Am I in a fucking dream?" That's what it felt like. Here it is. What a fight this was! God damn, this was a fight. This was one of my all time favorite middleweight championship fights for sure. And Jermaine Taylor, man, he was a bad motherfucker. He was. And, and again, you know, a lot of people talked about the handful of fights before that and the tough, you know, with smaller guys. But he was a bronze medalist who beat, you know, the man, Bernard Hopkins. There it is. Doom. The combination when you put him away, too. Fucking phenomenal, man. Phenomenal. This right here, when you walked yeah. away. That was all a blur. I just put right my hands there. up. Yep. Fuck, man. I mean, what that feeling. Like, try to describe that. Like, what is going through your head? Everything possible for him not to get back up. I know it sounds funny when people say that, but that's the truth. You know, my big thing was if I got somebody hurt, get them out because boxing is dangerous. Right. You know, and, and anything can happen. If they can get back up, they have a chance at knocking you out or beating you. So. But when it was over, like, what does that feel like? It's it's hard to explain. It, it really is. You're just you're you're on cloud nine. You, there's nothing that could bring you down. You know you're you're. Uh, you went from being a prospect your dopamine is through the roof to being a world champion to being a, a huge superstar in boxing. Yeah, and and it's hard to grasp at once, and it takes time, and unfortunately sometimes it, it, you get it when it's too late. You know what I mean? You really grasp yeah. it, and it's just one of them things. It's. You know, even I was talking with a guy last night, and he brought up he was uh, originally from South Korea, and he was talking about he goes there all the time, big business guy, and he says uh, they actually study my fight down there, on, something on how you could get knocked down. This is more of you know in your field of it, up your alley, how you could get knocked down and what gets a guy to get back up and recover the recovery, the endurance to. Pretty much have your brains rattle, but be able to come back that strong rounds later and knock somebody out, you know. Yeah. And for me, the simple answer is, you know, of course, training hard, you know, yeah. making sure I'm in shape. But I guess what he's trying to figure out is, like, what's what's the, the brain wave? The what's mindset. the pattern, the mindset? Yeah. What's the um, drive that gets you to do that? What, what is the endurance of the muscles? And, you know, that's pretty deep thinking in a little past. I think there's a lot there. There's a lot, and there's no one. First of all, every combination that you get hit with is different. You know, yeah. some some combinations you're just not going to get up from, and some of them you you're on the border. Can you get up? Can you not get up? How bad do you want it? Maybe you think about your daughter. Maybe you think about your mom. Yeah. And you just get this burst of adrenaline, and you're like, "Fuck this! I'm getting up." Yep. And the referee gives you the count, and you just fight smart and keep your hands up and keep moving. The next thing you know, that cardio kicks in, and then you're back.